We went through the central factory at the heart of the Maconis. This one, I like to think is the soul. In more ways than one. Hey everyone, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. In the last episode, we completed our rounds through Agnirifer and we got all of the links set up. Now at the gateway at the Egil is upon us. Now one quick word of warning before we uh, proceed further. Agnirifer, you don't need to be alarmed right now, but be warned, I would just be efficient for your time's sake to get as much as you can. However, if there are some things you can't get done, don't fret. However, from this point, if there is anything in which you have not done regarding McConnor's field, i.e. unique monsters, collectibles, side quests, or any or any locations which you have uh, marked off on the map, or just haven't explored to your heart's content, I would do that now before advancing further. We're not going to say outright why, but trust me, there is some uh, something going to come up which's going to make that place inaccessible. So, with that said, we'll meet you back right next to that transporter. Another Telepi corpse in the bag, and with that said, we get another Telepi done, another side quest done. We get an achievement, which is a charitable ally, which is doing a number of side quests. Mm -hmm. now, now, if I could just pause the episode here really briefly. Upon saying that, we, we quickly re realize something, and we are just going to pop and do it right now. So just bear with us, and we'll be right back. Mm hmm Ryan, what are you standing on? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> How? And why? And Ryan, don't you dare freaking look up. <laughs> well, there, there it goes. Deserved. <laughs> Deserved. What about you, Charla? How far are you going to fall? <laughs> there you go. I guess they have spider shoes, I suppose. <laughs> anyway, on that awkward time, we're back at the Fallen Arm because we forgot to do something re really quickly and I feel incredibly bad because this is one of the most poignant events in this in this period, this period of game that I completely forgot about. This is crucial. Because on that note, talk to these people and yes. take care of business. Don't see many harms around here, these parts. Well, except Theo here. What we're doing, you ask? Keeping watch for Mechon. Your words? Right. You lot fell from Sword Valley? Whoa! Me and all! I woke up on Digit 5 Beach and somehow made it to the village. The villagers helped me out and I'm managing to get by. Anything else you gotta say, buddies? Yes. What if Mechon to look out for any unusual activity because you never know Ocean Mechon. Yeah. This place has been crawling with them since that business with Egil. Ocean Fish Mechon. We need to do some reconnaissance to keep the village safe. Alright. I keep watching you as kind of a way of paying them back. It's very easy. <laughs> I used to be in Recon, you, you see, so I'm watching the Mechon. My god, man, what an, e what an easy job Bob, you have. That's pretty much the equivalent of going to the uh, Bahamas and asking a man, Oh, what do you do, good sir? Oh, oh, I, uh, I survey, I survey, uh, the penguins. Really? That must be a very tedious job. No, I pretty much get a lot of time to do whatever for the feck I want. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's very awkward, the reason why we were back, uh, we're back here, but... If you want important side quests, and we're going to make a note of this for this episode because this is especially a time which you need to be aware on what you've done. For example, if we take this side quest. Yes. What am I going to do? I really have to get it to them. Hey, maybe you can help. I don't mean to be burdening you with this, but I need some help here. I need to get food to the villagers keeping watch outside the village. I haven't been feeling well lately, and I can't bring myself to go out. They look forward to me taking them their meals every day. If only someone else could take the meals to them for me. Then everyone would be happy. 
so you take the food for me? I'm so grateful. The two villagers keep watching in the Digit 2 area. They should be stationed by the sea a little way down from Digit 2. Keep a good lookout for them. <laughs> we'll take the box meal and we'll enjoy it. It's not what you think, honestly. <laughs> We gonna hand in a one 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 more second for 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 we're done. We found the chips. Why is the door opening and closing again? <laughs> yes, looks like them all. I'll set them up right away. I checked their content. There are some memories that can't be restored due to the damage, but most of them have been recompiled successfully. Now the villagers can retrieve their memories of those times. Please see them for yourself to learn more about us. Oh, oh, please forgive me. I have something for you, by the way. Oh, thanks for helping us. We can take a side quest, but we'll hold we'll hold off for later. You'll see why in a bit. The main, the main reason why <laughs> Ryan doesn't alley up as soon as soon, soon as the pause menu hits. That's <laughs> that's nice. Alley up. Here I go again. Back to the pause menu. <laughs> Oh, that would be a nice pause menu sound effect. <laughs> oh, just a custom sound effect? No. <laughs> Aloop, Aloop. It's one, it's one of the reasons why I love the concept of like hacking a game so much, or at least PC versions, because you can open up a game and you can make it do anything you want. Ryan, what are you doing? You're trying to... He's trying to reenact the Lion King! <laughs> <laughs> Long live the hero of the homes. Da, <laughs> shulk. Ah, oh, screw it. <laughs> I'm just gonna be Spider-Man again. But <laughs> <laughs> it I almost killed him. <laughs> I I tried to be Spider-Man. Didn't work too well. Here I come to save the day. <laughs> Did he just catch you? I hope Ryan just can't. I just. I hope Ryan just caught you. No, unfortunately not. Damn it! <laughs> I tried to be a hero, but I didn't do anything. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting way too much enjoyment out of that. But get yeah, collectibles, and these guys are constant NPCs that that are around here. And this is building up to something that's very important. So, in fact, we wanted to save it for like its own special episode. I'm sorry that it's being cut in between a very tense moment, but everyone needs downtime in tumultuous times. Huh? Oh, tell me, I was starting to get hungry. The grub's the only thing to look forward to in this job. But why are you bringing it? What's up with that? Natalia. Alright. So nice for her to deliver the food to us out here. I like it, but I do feel like I'm taking advantage of her. Still, there's no harms in the village who I've heard is reliable. As long as you got him. I reckon can she should be all right. Huh. Never harms that reliable. Hmm. All right. By the way, give it to the time if you're going back to the village. The fish is fish call around here. Some good eating and nutrition to boot. I feel like I feel like over for a little summon for all we for all we just living by and um, dinner. We get a, like a deep water yum yum fish. And with that, something special has unlocked. Well. At least some, there's something for us. Yes. I've really got a lot on my mind. Can you guess what it's about? It's my girlfriend. It's her job to keep watch over the corner's field. She works there full time, so we got this long distance thing going on with. And with me being scared of heights, I can't go and see her. I'm worried she might forget about me if we stay apart any longer. Came up with this idea to give her a present. I'm sure a treasure called the Tear of the Sky will make an impression. You can only find it on distant fingertip. There's no way I can go up there. I'm terrified of heights. You go for me? Thanks. I know it's a lot of trouble. But it's a labor of love, right? I'm sure. I'm sure you'll be fine. Ali. Luckily, we have the place already decked out. And I'm just going to be a bit personal here. Ali For me. We're going to get rid of him post-haste. Huh. 
Lucky, lucky. The game must want me to continue this. It has to be during a thunderstorm anyway. I know. See, the game is teaching you lessons. Did we get lucky? No, because we didn't have a vision. I know, I, I know. <laughs> I was just hoping that it would just not show up. Anyway, personal story time. For me, I used to have a fear, a fear of travel. As in, like, if things would go wrong. I mean, if you were traveling by, like, car or anything, what if it broke down? And what if you'd be stranded and on your own? Yeah, you know, it's a tumultuous time. But, how do I put this? Hmm, that changed. I'm getting to it briefly. This guy has a fear of heights as well. Oh, yes. dude, I used to have a fear of heights myself. It's the first time I've ever seen one. So beautiful. There's no way she'll forget me if I give her this. You're a, you lot are amazing. You've really climbed all the way up there. There's no way I can have done that. I'm almost forgot. Here's a token of my appreciation, but... <laughs> now with that we get a massive bunce in yes. the affinity. Hey there, can I ask you to do me one more favor? It's about the tear of the sky you got for me. There's no way I can go up there or up there to give it to her. She's at McCorris Field, way over there in the distance. You know I'm gonna ask right. So we take the tear of the sky for me, or to her for me. Great, I've been you would. <laughs> her name's Bubsy Trucks. She's so cute and just amazing. I don't know where in McConaughey she is. Lookout base is confidential, so she's not allowed to tell me. It's called the Machina Refuge. I it might be difficult to find. Buddy, we've I been there and everywhere. Mm -hmm. Look at though. We have it here. And just before we hand thing things in, if we were to go if we were to go to our, our menu and look at that quest in particular, we see here that it's a time side quest. This is one of the few side quests up to this point you need to do. There are three in total in which you need to have completed. The memory pieces, the history of Maconis, and for my loved one, and to my loved one. These are the only time side quests you need to be worried about right now. So for that, let's hand it in and get it done. Me. A present from Zarkort? What could it be? Wow, it's beautiful. It's a tear of the sky. I can't believe it. Treasured always. But how did you get it? There's no way you could go to the distant fingertip. Let's not tell you. Never mind, it's the thought that's important. Could you thank him for me and tell him I can't go back yet? The Mechon have been more active lately, so I can't leave. It's almost like there's something here that's making him go berserk. Annoying them almost. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> now we have one, one more side quest, and this one is very, is very important. Me. This will come evident pretty soon. I really want to thank you. You came all the way here to find me and bring Zarkor to present. I want to make you a pair of my special boots, but I might have to give up on that idea. I've just made a pair for Zarkor. I used up all the materials I had with me, and I can't leave here to go and find more. Your special boots? You can really make boots? That's quite a, go that's quite a good hobby. I like to think so. I sometimes make boots as well, but Hom's ones. I'd be interested in knowing how to make Machina boots. I'm pretty sure I can make boots that would fit you. I look forward to seeing them. We can find the materials. All I need are reinforced jets and reinforced plungers. Luckily, we have a boatload. <laughs> twelve, twelve across the board. Twelve out of two. <laughs> Me. 
Have you got the materials? Great, can you hold on a bit? They'll be ready soon. All done. They should be a perfect fit. I hope they come in useful. I'm gonna go back to the village soon. I'll get a replacement, so I'll probably be working down there. I can't wait to see our court. It's been a while since we last met. Now with that, we get a big bunt in Affinity and slight spoilers. I think we saved a beautiful late relationship, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And everyone, and everyone there levels up. Bit personal, but me and Alice are in a, in a long distance relationship. And this is part one of a story. Mm-hmm. If you couldn't tell, we're together now in the same room. Knowing that uh, this woman's my right, I overcame my fear of traveling for her. <laughs> I overcame a lot of things. And distance and distance is one of them. But that's a little personal story of us. Mm-hmm. There's more to this, but we'll get in, in into that a little bit later later. And I know guys. I think we'll call things here. Sorry if this episode has been all over the place and broke up the and broke up the tension of Agni Ripper, but you get you get the idea. So, with that said, if you've done all the side quests for McConnor's Field and the side quests we we just done, you are all good to proceed. But this is your final warning. Any locations, collectibles, unique monsters, or anywhere else you have you haven't been to McConnor's Field, get them done now. But I said I said guys. Thank you very much for watching. So, you, if like the video, be sure to like it. Just like, just like the video. Well, then you can stay here in McConnell in this refuge. Nothing bad will happen <laughs> at all. You have my my word. But if you like the video, be sure be sure to like it. I've already said that. But if you want to subscribe, to see more content like this. Be sure to subscribe to see you Shulk's Broken Shins. And we'll see you guys next time. Which, we go to the main, main of Shrine and confront Echo. See you next time, guys. Oh, sweet energy out! Albergine! <laughs> Tension broken! See you next time, guys. Alley-oop!